my name is Justin Anderson. I'm a detention officer here at David O. Moss Criminal Justice Center. Today we'll be going through the booking process and pre-book process of what happens when somebody is arrested and taken to jail. Whenever someone is brought to the David O. Moss Criminal Justice Center, they will enter through the vehicle sally port and be brought into the pre-book area. In the pre-book area, an officer or deputy will establish the identity of the person being booked in. Next, a medical screening will occur to find out if a person has any mental or physical needs that must be addressed before entrance into the facility. After the medical screening, the officer will give the person's information to our warrants department and they will perform a records check to see if the person has any warrants or charges pending with another agency. The person is then informed of their charges by the arresting officer. When booking documents are submitted by the arresting officer to the booking intake officer, they will advise a 287G designated immigration officer if the documents identify the individual as someone who was born outside of the United States or U.S. territories. Once all paperwork is submitted, the person will then enter the booking slider where an initial pat-down is performed. During the pat-down process, males are usually searched by males and females by females. Once the pat-down is completed, the officer will instruct the person to walk through the metal detector and have a seat. The person is then told to come to the counter for a photo. They will stand on a blue X while their photo is taken. After taking the person's photo, if the booking officer was notified by the subject that they are a foreign-born national, the booking officer will notify a 287G designated immigration officer that the subject has been identified as someone who was born outside of the United States or U.S. territories. A 287G designated immigration officer will then screen the subject. If evidence is obtained that the subject either lacks immigration status or status is removable under the U.S. immigration law, an Immigration Customs Enforcement Supervisor will issue a warrant of arrest and will place an immigration detainer or hold on the subject pending a court hearing. The person will then go to the fingerprint area and have their fingerprints taken. Each finger and palm will be done individually. Once completed, the fingerprints are then sent to the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigations to be cataloged. After the fingerprints are complete, the person will go to the booking nurse. The nurse will screen the individual to ensure continuity of care for any mental or physical issues they may have. Next, they are told their bond amount. The bond is how much it will cost to get out of jail before seeing a judge. If they are unable to post a bond, the person will remain in custody until their court date. If the person is able to pay their bond, they will be allowed to be bonded out by a certified Tulsa County certified bondsman. They are also told their court date at this time. The individual is then able to use the phone to make as many phone calls as they need to. If the person is unable to bond out, a classifications officer will interview them to determine where to house them in the facility. They will then be taken to the male or female dress-in area where they will exchange their personal clothing for clothing issued by the facility. However, if they are able to pay their bond, they will skip the dress-in process and proceed to the bonds area where the bonds officer will make sure all the proper paperwork is signed to secure their bond. The paperwork is then sent to release. Once all of the proper paperwork is filed, the individual will go to the release office. The release officer will interview the person to confirm that they are eligible for release and that they do not have any outstanding warrants or holds with another agency. Once the release officer has all the proper paperwork signed by the individual, their property is returned to them and they are free to go.